Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly love reading for September 2021. Before I start, I'd like to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel. Those of you who've liked, shared and commented, thank you all so much. And for those of you who have been booking preview readings with me, thank you for choosing me to be part of your story. And part of your journey so Aquarius this reading is for Sun moon rising and Venus signs for couples and singles I've already pre shuffled the deck and just so you know I've changed the spread for this uh, month and each card is for each week and then you have your main energy so let's start Tarot in Universe, please tell us what is coming for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the month of September for couples or singles. Okay, what is going to be the story for their love life? Okay. Okay, we'll pick your main energy. Your first week. In your second week, your third week, your fourth week. Okay. The bottom of the deck is the full. Okay. And that's your card anyway. So it looks like you're going to express yourself. Express yourself. So, okay, the world is your main energy. Week one, you've got the three of cups. Week two, you've got the magician. Week three, you've got the justice. And week four, you got a seven of cups. So, Aquarius, the bottom of the deck is the full, literally, you want to just fall and fly, literally, you want to jump and fly, you want to just go do what you want <laughs> with your love life, go do whatever you want in your life, that's what, that's what you want, that's what you feel. And I feel here that you want to, you know, do more stuff. For those of you who are already in a relationship, you are want, wanting to take risk. And for those of you who are single, you also want to take risk, you know, when it comes to love. I feel you are ready for whatever it takes, okay, for, for both sides, yeah? So, your main energy being the world card here tells me that um this month of september you are going to be more um you want to explore more of yourself and you want to explore more of the world with your person if you are in a relationship and for those of you who are single you are willing to explore you know um the world when you meet someone okay also something is coming to fruition for you you are manifesting something that you've desired for your love life for quite a while that is how i feel here you are going to get something that you want because this is um this is a saturn card like the positive side of saturn so it's more of you know something that you've wished for something you've been hoping for something that karma is bringing to you and i feel is positive okay and so this could also be that this could be an international relationship or multicultural relationship and so that is how i'm seeing it here and in the first week we are seeing the three of cups that is talking about flirtation um drinking chatting going out dating 
and i feel whether you are coupled or single this is this is how it's going to be for you you will want to express yourself to your person and your person will want to express themselves to you in a very more romantic and emotional way and you are going to um, feel special and you're going to make you feel special and that is what I feel you are looking for and for those of you who are single you are going to meet this person for most of you you are likely to meet this person online okay because this is mercury mercury's internet or stuff like that you know anything you are communicating so if it's not internet you're going to meet them through some type of group chat or something okay but i feel it's going to be more on the internet or it could be an app okay um yes that is how i'm seeing it okay and they, they are going to be quite chatty they are going to be very very um, expressive and they are going to let you know that um, you are the one that um, they've got eyes on at the moment or they want you to think that way because they're not going to say that um, they've liked you for a long time <laughs> but I feel they are going to be quite chatty okay and I feel it's good for you because maybe they don't want to say everything all at once but you are willing to take the risk so aquarius i feel you're going to be quite um flirty <laughs> and in a second week i see here that you are willing to make something um positive happen you want to manifest the love you are looking for you want to manifest your lover for those who are single and for those of you who are in a relationship i feel you will you will initiate something or your person will initiate something that the two of you can work on together as a project as lovers okay and i feel here that it is it's quite good if you can support them okay because i feel this will be like a shared um uh project together that you both want to manifest and so I uh, feel with two, um, Aquarius will give you some type of purpose. Those who are already in a relationship. And for those who are not in a relationship, I feel like you'll be working on yourself. Okay. It's more like working on yourself to, you know, um, manifest something about your physical realm that will help you to attract the person you are looking for. Okay. So moving on to week three i see here that you've got justice whatever the universe um has planned for you and your love life there is justice here for you and the justice that you are getting here i feel that those of you who are already in a relationship um for quite some time now you may be um discussing um moving in together or you may be discussing um, some type of commitment and you know anything that is legally binding the two of you together um, yes it could be that you could be that you are uh, doing something that requires you to sign a signature it could be anything but I feel here that um, for some of you, it's more to do with balance, finding balance. And the balance you are looking for could be a uh, mental balance. It could be uh, balancing the relationship in terms of how you communicate. And that's how I see it. And for those of you who are single, I see here that continuing from second week, you will be finding balance within yourself because you are looking for something solid eventually you're not looking for anything that um is not going to fulfill you because you are willing to take the risk okay and so 
um, you're willing to take the risk only if it is worth your while. Because, you know, you want to create something positive. Something good that's going to last a very long time. And so I feel, you know, in continuation in the second week, for those of you who are single, you will be working on emotional stability. And also beautifying yourselves. That is how I'm seeing it here. And of course, moving on to the fourth week. We've got the seven of cup here. And I feel for those who are single, this is when you actually meet someone. Okay. Some of you may meet that someone, this person through work. Okay. And I see it here that for those of you who are already in a relationship, this is when you actually um, express your true feelings about the project you want to work on. Because I did mention in the second week, you know, there's a project that you may want to do as a couple. And here I feel this is when you go into details and describe what you want to achieve together. For some of you, it may have something to do with expanding in terms of having a family and for some of you it could simply be that you want to start up a business together okay and it's all good and for those of you who are single i feel here that um you are certainly going to meet someone in the fourth week and you meet them through work and they will find you very interesting and whatever your dreams are they will be supportive of you and it will also be good if you're also supportive of them. Because let's not forget, you know, there is a cultural difference. So whatever they are doing, if you show interest, it will be good for you and vice versa. Okay. And I feel I will leave the reading here. I hope this has been insightful for you. So whatever you do, um, be appreciative of the um, the differences that you have um, with the people that you are trying to connect with. And um, Aquarius, I'll leave the reading here. I will see you next time or you will see me next time.